uh hi <laughs> this is uh, to hello um uh, my name is nistaku and this is future nistaku um i was editing this and i've realized that uh this episode that i'm making is actually before the last episode i made so basically my last home safety hotline was actually the future that you weren't supposed to see yet so um these next two episodes of home safety hotline are before that episode and I'm sorry. Um, I'm an idiot for that. I, I don't know how that happened. This is my actual first time recording myself in a while, so I'm sorry if this also seems very awkward. But um, yeah, I'm coming in here to tell you I'm sorry. This is an earlier episode. The next one will also be an earlier episode, and then we're going to be back on track on the whole thing. I'm going to rearrange the playlist. I'm going to rearrange the title numbers so that you guys can see the correct order. But I'm sorry. I appreciate you greatly. <laughs> Thank you all for your support. Thank you everyone who does like and subscribe. I see that we've gotten more people. We're close to 270 if we're not already there. So thank you. And um, yeah, enjoy this episode. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye now. All right. So we got a new video, Science Mysteries. Did we watch this last time? humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. I think we watched this before, but I'm going to let it play out. And this is mus musculus loquentis otherwise known as the smart mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently, and in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. That just sounds like normal squeaking. What? What do you think? Is this a wonder of evolution? Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. It's giving vibes. It's like the whole mouse saying healthy. It gives me vibes of like the freaking dogs that are happening. Like, the people who use buttons on dogs to help them communicate, and then the one lady put a mirror in front of her dog, and the dog got anxiety and depression. That's what it's giving vibes of self-awareness. <laughs> Mailbox! What do we got here? Corporate! Office pet? <gasps> Kitty! Aww! Uh, hello, Home Safety Hotline family. We're excited to introduce to you all of our brand new office pet, Whiskers! Whiskers is a loyal friend who's loyal, friendly, and is, a is as serious about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Note, please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as he is still getting to know everyone at the office and has scheduled feeding time. Oh, Whiskers! Whiskers, you're so cute! Alright, I'm so excited to get into this game. I want to nail this. I want to do better. I think... Uh, sec like third day I got 60% and then the last day I got 66.6666 so I want to break it I want to break it I gotta pay attention Thursday all right all right all right let's go let's do it I'm gonna do better Bading home safety hotline 
Welcome, employee. To begin shift, clock in. I'm ready. I'm ready to do better. Do I get more uh, stuff? Oh, man. Did the bogger change? Oh, I hate it. Black mold. Alright. Lamp sprite. I barely remember some of this stuff. <laughs> Got a call. Hello? Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. Hey, Carol. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm Z? impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. What? Why is she saying that? Our eyes rest upon thee? What's with the whole these and thous? Is she like ancient? Is she a is she a hob? Is she not real? They can't this is this is getting weird. You've been updated entries now available. The toilet hob never looked like that unless the toilet hob is new. Is the toilet hob new? That looks freaking creepy. Travel gnome Uh Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water, so can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? Okay, water poison. I mean, water poison happened. Oh my gosh, have you heard about Camp Lejeune? Dude, sucks. Please hold. Please hold. Uh, I wanted to look at the new stuff. Can you wait a little bit longer? Seedling. Uh, that. Oh, like aphids. Man, they're small. Portal. Night wisp. Dude, I don't see anything. I'm not really seeing, like, the creature. Night gnome, I'm seeing. Oh, that would creep me the frick out. Laundry gnome! I see his little hand. Is that his little hand? The horde? Oh my gosh. Oh. Floor roots. Ooh! Coming out the skirt. Fae flu? Oh. At least look pretty. Uh, Fae feast? I don't see it unless it's like this weird thing or the pile of stuff. Um, cellar grotto. Whoa, that looks cool. An attic gnome. We got the gnomes. I'm assuming that's him. Okay, so he is having stomach bugs, stomach aches, and pains, but he eats fresh, homegrown stuff. Mmm, I feel like that's specific. Is it seedling? Seeing the small insecto creatures, they are known for burrowing outdoor, feeding off roots. Danger, though their weed killing ourselves can make them useful for gardeners. Seedlings are extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing their food. Never remove a weed from a seedling infested garden. They are known to compel, compel competitors to commit acts. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's not that. Uh, homegrown, homegrown, homegrown. False beat? False beat, false beat, false beat, false beat. Uh, here we go. False beats are creatures with beat-like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising them among their vegetables. They would uh, take root. Oh no! What's this? He's definitely got a false beat. Uh, this can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the human's life. Oh my gosh! False beets only find themselves in gardens that grow beets. If you do not wish to contend with false beets, advise not growing beets. A swallowed false beet cannot be removed without. So he's dead. He, this guy's a dead man. He's just this. The. Uh, he's just dead. He. I mean, he's just. He's just. He's just gone. All right, buddy. I'm sorry. There's nothing to do, so what are they gonna do? Kill him? Or does he just live the rest of his life? Like, is this like... Oh, man. 
what? So if I didn't tell him the right thing, he would die. If I told him the right thing, he would die. Maybe it's just suffering. Oh, hello? Hello? Hey! I followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called pest control. And she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. What? Oh, this is the one I messed up on, right? I messed up on this one because it was like one or the other. Uh, thanks for letting me know I messed up. Hello? Welcome to Home Safety Hotline Responder Software. Felicia? The police told me to call this number, so I uh, hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. What? I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. Oh, do something about this. I can hardly this. sleep anymore. Anymore. Alright, Oli. Oh, man. Would that be... Wait, what was it? What was it? No, it's not Attic Gnome. Mmm, someone that's stalking her? Ooh, what's stalking her? The horde ain't stalking. No, it's something out the window. We saw something. Window? Was it window? Window? What secretions? No. I swear we saw a gnome that, like, was looking out the window. Night gnome! Night gnome! Night gnome! Night gnomes are small, hairy creatures. Wait, let's listen. Oh, that's breathing. Oh, that's breathing! Okay, 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 we get it. Night gnomes are small, hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans and watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report the sightings of them in the middle of the night for heavy breathing. Yep, sounds in the late hours. Night gnomes are not known to be deadly, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing a sleeping mask to prevent being startled by their presence. This would kill me. Night gnomes mo will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by your inhabitants' sleeping activities. There's no guarantee, however, that they will become bored. Oh! Okay, you got a night gnome. I'm so sorry, lady. So... So what? You just gotta be boring? I don't get it. How do you be boring when you sleep? You really don't have control on that. Uh, night gnome, night gnome, night gnome, night gnome. I wish you luck. Oh my gosh, that's so creepy. Being stared is so. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, there you are. Hello. What? Why did it get darker? Hello. Yes. Oh. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Banging? Air quality bad. Coughing? Please hold. Okay, attic gnome. Start off with that. Attic gnomes are substitution gnome known to rest in attic ceilings. Homeowners infested with attic gnomes will often report knocking or rapping sound from their ceilings, a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation system. Could it be another gnome? Attic gnomes' feeding habits often can be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, household pests, such as spiders in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, oh, which can send large quantities of dust in the air, causing air quality issues in the household. They're very easily frightened. Solution. To remove the attic gnome from the household, it is recommended to dust and clean your attics regularly. Okay. You might have an attic gnome hearing loud banging noises coming from the ceiling. Uh, I mean, that sounds like banging. Let me just look around real quick. Cellar. Is the cellar upstairs? No, cellar's downstairs, so it's not that. Mm. No, I think it's... I think we just got a double gnome situation. 
These gnomes are just terrorizing everyone right now. Alright. I'm locking it in. You got an attic gnome. Hopefully you get it fixed. Clean your freaking attic. There we go. Yeah, because, like, I don't know what else it could have been. Um... What's Fay Feast? Fay Feast. Piles of various edible food substances? Whoa. It could provoke- wait. So they want you to eat it? Feasts are not da- oh no, it's not dangerous, but if less tongue touch they can provoke more dangerous activity or else it- Oh! Hello? Ring-a-ding! Please help me! The police refused to do anything! They told me to call you! Please What's wrong say with me? you can help! My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing! He's eight years old and such a sweetheart! The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down! Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff! <laughs> what? Bees and wasps? <laughs> Also, how do we have the photos of these people? Like, where are we getting Please these photos from? Isn't this the false rose bush? Don't they kidnap people? Let's see, let's see. False rose bushes are large plant like creatures, most commonly take on the appearance of a red rose bush in place of roots. These creatures have two small humanoid feet they can use to chase down prey. Homeowners with false rose bushes often report missing pets or children. <laughs> false rose bushes pose incredible danger to homeowners with children or pets as their diet consists of small mammals. Uh, and they are known to fat as fast. Okay. Oh, man, they swallow them whole. It could be a false rose bush. She has a missing kid. But something about bees. Bees. What the frick is up with the bees and wasps? Let's see. Cellar growth. Damn, sound of dripping, stretching. No, that's not it. A hob wouldn't do it. I'm just looking right now. I don't. I'm thinking it's rose bush. Wait. Mm. No. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Homeowners. Wait, woo. Okay, hold on. Let's read this. This says something about missing children. Uh, this is false artifact. False artifacts are seemingly human-designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside the home. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds. Oh, maybe that's why he was worried about the bees! Buzzing sounds that can usually only be heard by very young human children or small homeowners. <gasps> it's not the bush, it's this! With false artifacts, homeowners with false artifacts often report uh, out-of-place objects or missing children. False artifacts, while not a direct threat to adult humans, can pose a significant risk to small human children and animals should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact there at risk of being encased within. Once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard, while digestion can take upward to several years to complete. Starvation could be more precious. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is simply as, as physically moving the object out of one's home. It's- you're definitely- it's false artifact. Your child's gone. I'm sorry for your loss, but I hope the child tastes good- no, mm, no, mm -mm, bleh, no. False artifact. Man. I thought it was gonna be the false bush, because that was the only main one I always hear about, like, the children missing. Hi. I'm concerned, somewhat, about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Legal? I'm not an attorney. Please hold. Hold. Okay, is this something about cellar grotto or cellar growths, maybe? Several large cracks and cheese. Uh, damn. Cellar grows calmly and simply selling me. Okay. Nope. Cellar grotto? Uh, bad smell. No. Large cracks and cheese? Uh, what? 
floor roots? Reference those of various objects. Uh, no. It's not Fracture Hob, right? It can't be Fracture Hob. Mm, no, because it's nothing about cheese. Half eaten cheese? Wait, it is! Wait, 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 it is! Oh my gosh, it's a Fracture Hob! Because you read the solution, fracture hops cannot be removed once they nest to prevent further danger measures. Uh, to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave any, ki any kind of sliced cheese at night before going to bed. You, bro, you got a fracture. So they do big cracks. Okay, that makes sense. They do, they do big, big boy cracks. This is easy. You got a fracture hob. You got a fracture hob. This is what I said last time, and I was wrong. But now I'm right. How many more do I collars do I got? What collar am I? Dude, that food downstairs is making me so freaking hungry. I should have eaten before stream. I should have seen. Oh. <gasps> Gub rubber! I need to place an order of 60 gallons of orange drink here. 60 gallons of orange drink. Hold on, I'll write it down. I'm sitting up here at the studio and we're going to need that orange drink to... Uh, too many mouths to feed, you know what I mean. going to need that orange drink to feed my brew. <laughs> I thought y'all still got that cheesy greaser. It's too Dude. many mouths to feed. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, pepper squeeze, don't tell me you don't got the pepper squeeze. Pepper squeeze, got it. Write it down. What if, what if gru uh, gub, gub rubber is like an amalgamation of all the previous workers of me? Cause the la cause we always get emails like, don't do it, don't do it. So what if like, gub rubber is just like an amalgamation of all the co-workers? Alright, bye gub rubber. <laughs> Why does it sound like that? Why does it sound like that? Do I answer? Why did it sound like that? So, my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so, I've recently been having just the worst headaches and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Yeah, what do we do with these people? Do they, like please hold. I don't get it. Like everyone's directing like these normal people with us, but I don't get like do they kill them? Do they secretly kill them instead of, like, dealing with the situation? Like, I don't know. Now nah, he's got fate. It didn't load. I think he's got fate flu. Fate flu had a bunch of pink stuff on. That's the only thing that I remember. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, the internet broke. No, my internet. I was gonna watch YouTube after this. Alright, you got Fae Flu, because I ain't gone. Because Fae Flu was one that looked really, really pink, if I remember. It had, like, flowers all over the face. Is my internet back? No. You're gonna give me two calls with no internet? I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm so screwed. There we go. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage there is! I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found! She probably took off after seeing this mess. Aww. I need help. Bad. Alright, Kyle. Please hold. Got gapers. Got it. Is my internet back? Okay, my internet's back. Hold on, let's- Let me read about Fae Flu. Oh, man. Oh, eye discoloration. Maybe that was it. Headaches. Headaches and eye discoloration. So maybe we did it. But gaping holes? And his pet's missing. Oh, man. Mm. 
I haven't heard about any gapers. Is it Cellar Grotto? No. We haven't heard anything about holes, have we? Wood secretions? No. Wine sprite? No. Whistling fungi? Mm, no. Unicorn? I'm literally just like having to go through it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Holes, 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 holes. Hold on, hold on, here we go. Unicorn fungi are rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow on the heads of furry animals or mammals and household pets. They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside the home. That could be it. If it's holes? Unicorn fungi are not directly harmful, but they can often lead to other household problems. Waking up other... Uh, wait, waking up other things beneath the soil? Mm, okay, we're gonna keep looking. Maybe this is not it, right? Uh, broken floorboards, uprooted plants. He's just saying holes. This could work, though. This could work. Alright, I think the guy... I think it's just his dog gone, gone, gone unicorn mode. His dog's a unicorn now. Unicorn fungi will go away after a few months on its own without treatment, but can also be treated with cryotherapy or removal, remove surgery. If removal needs expediting to prevent unicorn fungi from developing, regularly bathe your pet, especially after any outdoor activities. Alright, I think he's got unicorn fungi. Final answer. Mm. Done. Hello? Home safety hotline. All right, I'm gonna need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. Watch your mouth. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening is is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? <laughs> you buy a bad rug? Um. Wait. Does she have unicorn fungi? No, I don't know. She's old. Oh, uh, what? No, she didn't mention her pet. Covered in soil? What's covered in soil? Travel gnome? Hold on, let's see what travel gnomes do. Oh, here it is! It is travel gnomes. Travel gnomes. Travel gnomes are highly invasive subspecies of gnomes that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves to new households. They are found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Travel gnomes can be affected. Uh, can affect the household in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in the home if they continue to grow un unabated. Spraying pesticides, kill uh, weed killer, and could deter. Okay. All right, you gotta travel them. Easy, easy. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at his little nose sticking out in his eyes. I just realized that. All right, travel gnome. Easy. I feel like I'm turning into like a sassy secretary in these gummy worms. Easy, honey. It's easy. Have a nice day now, honey. Okay. He's so cute. I'm worried that like if I click on these pictures, like they'll jump scare me. <laughs> like I refuse. Oh, that was quick. Larry. There's something. There's something in my basement. Okay. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what Ooh, it might grotto. be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Okay. It immediately sounds like you got a grotto. Please hold. You got, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got. Frick, where is it? Cellar grotto. A lot of water, right? Bad smell. Smells like a sewer. Yep. Power community. Yeah, it's 
spontaneously, I think it's Cave Grotto. A grotto is what water's in, right? That's what you have it on my- a grotto's water. Seligars can be moved by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. Their creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion. <laughs> That's actually really funny. You have to go scuba diving if you don't want this grotto. You got a grotto. You got a cellar grotto. That's kind of fun though. It must, but it being stinky, that can't be fun. Uh, cellar grotto. Have a nice day, sweetheart. Have a nice day. Now you won't download it on your phone. I'm <gasps> I did not boof it. Round of applause, you know, round of applause for all of us out here making the smart decisions. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for your support.